Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Though I am uh, uploading base cover videos usually in this channel, this time I am uh, uploading a different video, but on a related subject. So in this video, I am going to show how we can extract the bass line from a piece of music. For this tutorial video, I am going to use a software called Sonic Visualizer. Uh, though there are many uh, music transcription software that are available in the market, I would say this Sonic Visualizer is the best software because it comes absolutely free. Come on, let us go directly into the video. Okay, to start with, we have to first install the software. So let us find out the download link for the Visualizer uh, program. So when you search in Google for Sonic Visualizer, you get the home page for the Sonic Visualizer. And uh, here you get the download link. And further you have options for uh, downloading the different versions of the software. So you can uh, select between 64 bit and 32 bit for Windows. And also you have uh, Linux based and the Mac based uh, download links. So once you select the right link, you start the download and get the software installed. Once the software is downloaded and installed, so we can open the software and start working on the extraction process. Since I already have a Sonic Visualizer installed in my computer, I am just clicking the link in the taskbar and here we have the software interface. So once you open the software, uh, it's blank and now you have to load the audio file into the software. So go to the file menu, click import audio file. And I already have one audio file in WAV format. And you can also import uh, other formats which are listed here. Different uh, forms of uh, audio files are uh, importable in the software. So I am uh, opening this file into the software getting loaded and it's done now uh, what you see is only the waveform of the imported file and to extract the baseline we need to have the different layer available in the software so click on the layer menu and click on add melodic range spectrogram and select all channels mixed Here we have the spectrogram and let us go to this part of the music where the music actually starts. So before you start working on the extraction process, let us understand the different controls and options available on this uh, pane. So here uh, this is the spectrogram uh, pane or panel. So here uh, you have different uh, buttons and options. Normally we can leave it at the default values. Only thing sometimes uh, you may need to adjust is the intensity of the waveform or the spectrogram what you see here. So for that uh, click this button and then you have the option to increase or decrease the intensity of the bars you see here. So if you increase it will become more bright and if you want to have more resolution or clarity you can reduce it also so I am leaving it at the default value this tab over here is to define how you want to have the window moving as you play the song uh, by default you will see that it is in uh, the page mode so in the page mode when you play the song the white marker moves to the right but the window remains static on the other hand when you select the scroll and you play the song, the cursor remains at the center or the marker remains at the center and the spectrogram will move. I prefer this view because it gives a relative uh, idea about the value of the song. Before we start the extraction process for the baseline, let us first understand how the spectrogram depicts the baseline. Uh, the first thing is uh, we need to understand the rhythm of the music. Uh, this is to get to know about the tempo of the song. The horizontal bars seen here represent the bass line. 
uh, before we start uh, the extraction process uh, we should understand first the tempo of the song to understand the tempo of the song we need to study the pattern or the rhythm of the bass line so in this screen you can clearly see the rhythm like there are two beats and uh, followed by another two beats and then it is repeating like this so from this uh, you can understand that probably these two beats constitute one bar of music let us first assume that uh, these two horizontal bars constitute the first bar of the music to find the duration of this first bar let us use this measure tool here and once you click that you get this cross hair come down and place it at the start of the bar and then click the left button drag it to the right until the start of the next bar and leave it there so once you release the mouse button you get a green bar here and you can see the duration of the bar also so now you can see it is 2.2 second so now we know that each bar of this music has a length of 2.2 seconds having found the length of each bar of the music let us now find out the time signature of the music so in this first bar you see that there are two horizontal bars and let us measure the duration of the first bar of this so again uh, click at the start of the music go up to the end of this bar and leave it there so you find that this measures 0.76 seconds and similarly do the same for the next beat of the bar so this is 1.46 so you can see that uh, the length of the second piece of the music in this bar is nearly two times the length of the first beat of the bar so from this you can see that this particular music is written in 3 by 4 time signature having found the tempo and the time signature of the music now it is time to extract the notation of the bass notes to start the bass note extraction process be sure that you are in the spectrogram tab here and once you are on this tab what you see on the left side is the frequency of the different notes you see in the screen and normally the bass notes will be in the range of 30 or 40 hertz starting at the bottom until about 200 to 300 this is the range where you can search for the bass notes with the measure option selected here when you hover over the music you can see the actual frequency and also the note of the particular uh, beat what you are uh, pointing out in the spectrogram for example now i am keeping the cursor at the first beat of the first bar and you can see that uh, 84 hertz and the note e are displayed at the left as we already know that this music is written in 3 4 uh, time signature we now know that the first beat is a crotchet beat of note e and then uh, followed by a minim of uh, same note e so we have now resolved the bass line of the first bar and when you go to the second uh, bar of the music so it is of, of the same duration it is uh, close to 2.2 second and again it is same like the first bar with uh, the first note being a crotchet in uh, note e followed by a minim of note e so now we have completed the first two bars of the music in this uh, process of resolving the bass notes sometimes you, you may come across a, a doubtful situation where you are not very sure about the note for example in this case when i place the cursor over here i see that it is note e but if you slightly shift the cursor to the top you will find that the note has changed to note f so you may have a doubt whether it is actually note e or note f in those cases you can go further up and uh, here you find the same notes repeated here basically these are the harmonics of the fundamental note what you see here so you will find the same note here and uh, since the width of the line here is smaller 
you can easily resolve the note you can uh, clearly see that uh, this is uh, note e and not uh, note f as you resolve the notes in each bar of the music like this you can keep on writing down in a paper and uh, you can continue this process until the complete song is resolved for the bass notes so that's so you complete the complete extraction process of the bass line for a particular song thanks for watching this video if you like the video please click the like button please do subscribe the channel also bye